couple of announcements. Who's been coming on Sundays? Sunday or Thursday? Raise your hand. Kind of? Okay. So what have we been talking about so far in February? Okay. A little crowd participation. What have we been talking about on Sundays? Right. And anybody know our verse or saying for the month of February? Okay. What is love? Right, the golden rule, right? All right. Um, next, of course, Wednesdays. Never forget. Um, I don't know how much longer we have in this one. Cool. Two more weeks. Okay. Um, kid men volunteers, if you missed the meeting Sunday, uh, check your email. Uh, family baptism class. Who in here has been baptized? So if you have not, there is a family baptism class coming up for you and your family to discuss what baptism really means. And um, lunch will be provided there, and it's February 23rd, and then all of our adult volunteers or kids who aren't volunteering, there's CPR. So if y'all need CPR training, it's very helpful. Um, My adult leaders, this is called the Darkness to Light class. I've heard it's very interesting, haven't attended myself, but I've heard it's very, very beneficial to all adult leaders. And all my up rising seventh graders, raise your hands. Oh, y'all gotta make more noise than that. Thank you. And with that comes CIY Mix. Who's going? You already signed up for CIY Mix? You already signed up? Yep. And then if anybody misses a Sunday, Show them to the YouTube, right? We have our YouTube channel. Everybody subscribe so they can catch up. We won't miss anything. Yeah. Okay. So I have a game for us. Are y'all ready? So I need everybody in their small groups. Find your seat, find your seat. I need everybody to take a deep breath in and exhale. That was enough excitement for one day, I think. All right, and phones away, just so everybody knows, phones away. And we're gonna get started by lesson, but first, watch the video. was about to graduate, then he suffered quite a twist of fate. A donut hit his head and he took a fall. He became Mr. Forgot It All. Hey everyone, Kevin here. You know, your friend who has amnesia. I feel like I'm getting closer to graduation. I'm going and meeting with the principal. Hopefully I can take my test and graduate. Now I bet you're wondering why I'm here. Well, I'm waiting on my tutor, Tony. Where is that guy anyway? Mm -hmm. Whoa, hey, kid, what are you doing here? I've been waiting on you for hours. Really? Huh, sorry, I guess, guess I forgot. Looks like maybe I got amnesia. Amnesia. That's what I said, amnesia. Amnesia. Amne Forget about it. Well, what are we doing here? All right, kid, today, Oh, that's good. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to chew gum. I know how to chew gum. Okay, then, show me. There you go. Yo. Yeah, just take one day. What? <clears throat> okay, how was that? Terrible. Well, it was funny to watch, but here, let me show you how it's done. First, you don't eat just one stick. You put the whole thing in your mouth. That's why it comes in slices, like a pizza. Um, well, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Forget about it. Here, take the whole pack. Okay. Now, take off the wrappers and eat it all. Ha 
kind of hard to chew. How do I do? I do good, kid. Thanks for asking. No, it's hard to chew. Do I have the flu? Kid, I haven't been sick since 89. I, I can't just. What happened? You were doing great. No, I'm done. I'm mad at the guy who threw the donut and gave me amnesia. He deserves amnesia, not me. Whoa, whoa, kid. Sounds like you haven't forgiven him yet. No, I haven't, and I never will. Look at me. I can't even chew a whole pack of gum at the same time. I know, it's hard, kid. Forgiving someone is probably one of the hardest things to do. How would you know? Hey, Tony's had to forgive lots of people. Like who? Like this one time, me and my little brother went to this Italian restaurant, and he got five shrimp on his spaghetti. I only got four. Totally unfair. So you forgave the waiter? No, I forgave the shrimp. Why'd they have to get on his plate, not mine? This isn't helping. Okay, listen, listen. I was just reading in my Bible today this really cool story about a thief that got forgiven. By who? Whom, Kevin. It's by whom. <sighs> okay, Tony, forgiven by whom? By Jesus. And this was when he was on the cross. Wow. You mean while he was dying, he forgave someone? He did. And that's what the kids are going to learn about in the lesson today. Maybe you should listen. It might help you forgive your donut chunka. Well, sounds good to me. Let's go, kid. I can't. Why not? I, I can't. I sat in that giant gum wad from earlier and now I'm stuck. Oh, really? Well, I guess that means I can go get another Slurpee. Good luck, kid. Wait, what? Bye! He became Mr. Forgot It All. What's up, what's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, uh -huh, yeah. What's up, everybody? It's me, the SKI to the double TLES, Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we're talking about being forgiven. So every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. Jesus can forgive every single sin. Some people think they are just too much of a sinner to be forgiven by God. They think they are just too bad. But when you give your life to God, he turns your life around. Now, I don't mean he literally turns your life around in circles. No, oh, man. When I say God will turn your life around, I mean he will take your sin, wash it away, and make you a brand new person. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them. Jesus can forgive every single sin. And that right there is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby. I think Mr. Glee was trying to blind me. <laughs> so, four, five, six, what's up? That is right. So, our Bible story will be coming out of the book of Luke. Now, can anybody t give me like a general idea of what the, what the book of Luke is about? Like, what are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? What are they called? Right, the Gospels. So we're going to be talking about one of, one of the Gospels, Luke chapter 23. It takes place in one of the saddest moments of Jesus' life. Now, Jesus had been ministering, teaching, and loving and helping people, for, helping people for three years. The problem is the religious people of Jesus' day felt threatened by him. They felt he was making them look bad. They feared that the people were going to stop following them and doing what they told them to do. So one of Jesus' disciples um, betrayed Jesus. Do anybody know what disciple that was? Nope. You said it. Ju Judas. There you go. Judas. And so for only 40 pieces of silver... I don't know how much that was worth back in that day or how much it'd be worth now, but 40 pieces of silver, he betrayed Jesus. 
Right. It's not smart at all, right? And so they arrested him, put him on trial, and sentenced him to death on a cross. Shh. This is where we find Jesus at the beginning of this story. Jesus is nailed to the cross. He's hanging between two thieves, one on the right and one on the left. These two thieves are guilty of many crimes, but Jesus was totally innocent. Suddenly, one of the thieves began to make fun of Jesus. He screamed, if you are the king of Jews, save yourself. Jesus didn't respond. He said nothing. Suddenly, the other thief began to take up for Jesus. He said, stop. Don't you see? We are guilty. He isn't. Then he spoke directly to Jesus. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This man understood that Jesus was the son of God. He knew that Jesus was going to heaven. He wanted to honor Jesus to his very last breath. Jesus turned to the thief who had honored him and said, today you will be with me in paradise. What? How could this man who was a sinner, like not just a sinner, but a thief, be with Jesus in paradise after he died that day? Wasn't it too late for him? Wasn't he too bad for Jesus to save? No, not at all. Today, we're going to learn there is absolutely no one, and I mean no one, who is too bad for Jesus to save. Pay attention to the lesson today. It can mean life or death for someone you know who still needs to accept Jesus as their Savior. It could even mean life-changing for you. No matter who you are or what you have done, when Jesus is in your life, you can say, I am forgiven. Let's watch this video. Hi there, I'm Trivia Tracy, and I'll have you know I never forget anything. In fact, I have entered into an intense trivia contest every week since the fourth grade, and I have never lost a trivia contest ever. My friends call me a know-it-all, but they don't know. And I tell you what, to prove how great I am at trivia, how about I try to stump you right now? Here's a question from last week's trivia contest I won. Do you know how many peppermint patties can fit inside the belly of a hammerhead shark? Give up. It's 1,312. That was a tough one to find out the answer to, but it was so worth it when I won the Sharks and Sweets trivia contest of 2007. And you know what? Well, you probably don't, but I sure do. Here's something else I'll never forget. Today's power verse. It says, The Lord does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. 2 Peter 3, 9. Now I've got to get back to studying for the next trivia contest. I have a stack of encyclopedias and dictionaries to read by next Tuesday. I'm Trivia Tracy and I'll see you later, boys and girls. So I need, I need everyone in here to repeat our power verse today. Ready and go. Right. Right. So, shh, time. Sometimes time can be on our side. Like when you're counting down the minutes to when school gets out for summer. We, or you're counting down the time when it's time to go on vacation, family vacations. You know, there's a, an app that has like a countdown on it. You can put how many days, weeks, months, seconds it is till you go on vacation or something. We love time then, right? But sometimes time isn't on our side. Like when we're late for something very important. You ever been late? Anybody ever been late to something? Right. It, it doesn't feel too good, does it? Does it embarrass you a little? Like you feel like you, may, like you feel terrible for showing up late to something very important to you. Being late, oh, right, to your own birthday party. Being late is not fun. Today, our Bible story was about a man who many thought it was too late for. The thief 
on the cross, he led a life of sin. He had run from God and ignored God's love. Most people looked, for him, looked at him and thought, what a loser. He's a waste of life. It's too late for him to turn around. He's hanging on a cross, and he's already gotten what he deserves. That's what most people thought about the thief, but that's not what Jesus thought. Jesus looked at him differently. Jesus saw a man who needed God's forgiveness. The man asked, asked Jesus to remember him when he entered into his kingdom. Jesus replied, today, you will be with me in paradise. It is a shocker statement for sure. Jesus proved that it's definitely not too late for this man. We learned that every important lesson from this thief, if you want to turn your life around, then follow these steps that the thief, that the thief took. Admit you're guilty. This thief admitted he was guilty of sin. In fact, we are all guilty of sin. You say, but I haven't done anything that bad. I haven't robbed any banks or, God forbid, killed anyone. That may be true, but the Bible says all have, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No one, shh. The only way to be saved is to admit that we messed up and we sinned. That's what the thief did, and that's what we must do. Then the thief turned to Jesus. Jesus, remember me when you go into your kingdom. This man knew he was guilty of sin, so he turned to the only person he knew that could help him, and it's Jesus. He knew that Jesus was the only one who could take his sin away. He took the second step that we must take if we want to turn our lives around. Ask Jesus for help. When we are guilty of sin, you must turn to Jesus. Jesus is the only one who has never, ever sinned. He was perfect. Call out to Jesus and say, Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I need you to forgive me my sin and change my life. Jesus will hear you just like he heard this thief. Remember, Jesus turned to the thief and said, I tell you the truth. Today, you'll be with me in paradise. I mean, think about it. The man called out for help for Jesus' help, for forgiveness. And Jesus answered him. Jesus said, you will be with me in paradise. The thief admitted to his sin, asked Jesus for help. Then he took a third step. He received God's forgiveness. Each of us must receive God's forgiveness. When we do, something amazing happens. So, this is sin. If I can get it open. There we go. Got it. The thief was just like most of us. His whole life, he had done things on his own way and found himself full of sin. See how nasty that is? See how gross it is? Sin messes up our lives. The Bible says that sin keeps us from God. The man's life was full of sin. Many people believed it was too late for him, but Jesus heard his cry for help. The thief admitted he had sinned and asked Jesus for forgiveness. And when he did, something amazing happened. He asked Jesus for forgiveness, and instantly, all the sin in his life disappeared. His life was totally transformed in an instant. Even though he spent his whole life running from God, it isn't too late for him to turn his life over to Jesus and be completely forgiven. Shh, I'm not going to tell you again. It's never too late for anyone. Do you know someone who needs Jesus? Do you need Jesus? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Do I need Jesus? It is never too late to admit your sin. Ask Jesus for help and, he, and receive God's forgiveness. If you will do that, you can truly say, I am forgiven. All right, we're going to pray, and then we're going to go into worship, and then small group. All right, so God, we thank you for this time of learning about your forgiveness. 
that your grace abounds, that you forgive even the lowliest sinner like us. God, I pray for the ones in here who need to receive your forgiveness. Pray for friends and family of those who need forgiveness. And remind us it is never too late for you to turn someone's life around. Father, we thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.